all right guys this is uh, Deepan Gogoi technical analyst of Allies flu so in this video I'll discuss about uh, aluminium now you can see this is aluminium and aluminium is running in a downtrend in a daily time frame right so why is it downtrend uh, we have seen 50 moving average running 150 moving average right all are, I'm using exponential and all moving average are arranging sequentially so we have seen 7, 20, and 50, 100, 150, and 200. All are arranging, right? So we have seen, and they're confirming they are running in a downtrend. And according to the price action method, we have seen they're creating uh, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, here, yeah, lower high, lower low, lower high, like that, right? So, and so so if you see here uh, price is following moving average 20 have you seen uh, from this area price is just a retrace toward this moving average 20 again reverse back from this area by using previous market behavior can we sell it again here in this area because right now price is near to 20 moving average can i enter for the cell so if you want to enter here instead of running uh, like a downtrend uh, cell is a little more risky here why so i'll show you so if you want to see in a large time frame in a weekly chart there is a supporting line so we have seen uh, there was multiple rejection from this area, right? So by using previous uh, rejecting uh, rejecting point, I want to draw a horizontal line by connecting previous lower point. So I drawn right. So now you can see here is multiple rejection, right? Rejection one, twice, three, right? We have seen price is just bouncing from this area, right? So that means some buyer are waiting in this level, right? When price is pushing down toward this supporting line, some buyer are waiting to buy again. That means by using previous analysis, is it uh, it is higher probability to reverse back from this area, right? Let me uh, let me. So properly, I want to connect more tasses area here exactly somewhere here. I just connected. Why I connect here? Because I want to connect previous resistance here, support here, right? So like here we have seen this is resistance. Most of the people are doing a big mistake by using this one. 200 uh, moving errors, uh, they already broke here and they are uh, trying to sell this area. But if you want to sell, so you must wait to break this supporting level, right? So this is a weekly chart. So let's check it in a daily. So daily we have seen price just exactly hit that level around 128 and trying to reverse back from this area. From this area. And remember, if you want to enter for the sell, we must wait to break this level of 128. Here is 128, right? 128. So after that, I uh, we will start selling. Uh, if you wanna enter for the sell, it it will uh, a little more risky instead of running downtrend, right? So we are expecting price will push up toward this moving average 200. As we see previous market behavior. Uh, in a daily time frame, we have seen price push up toward this 200 moving average after the reverse break. So we are expecting price will push up toward this level, right? So let's check it uh, in a four hour time frame how it should look like that. Okay, let me draw another supporting line exactly here because I want to draw here exactly supporting line. Why I drawn as a uh, resistance because we have seen this is a supporting point right price was reversed from this area exactly here 
now price is just uh, running below this uh, resistance now it is becoming a resistance line so let's check it in a four hour time frame how it should look like that now four hour chart it should look like that right and another thing you can see here this was extreme lower point and price reverse from this area right another we have seen this is uh, another support are there in a four hour so i want to draw another uh resistance line here which is becoming a resistor right now and let me connect more touches point here somewhere here so it is uh for intraday right intraday trader now i want to connect more touches point here so we have seen this is more touches point here right that's number one two and three so that means this is intraday trading if you want to enter for the buy above so we must close our position here right and if again they break this level we will start buying above and we will close our position somewhere here right uh, for the um, for the intraday trader right let's check in a 15 minute time frame how it will look like that now in a 15 minute time frame it will look like that right so now you can see price just uh, running in an uptrend according to the moving average and projection method in a small time frame like here we have seen higher high lower high higher high and the lower high. so after that we have seen a resistance line around 132 right so we are looking for buy above this area right and you can see right now price is following moving average 50 so price drop down to 50 moving average and bounce again from that area so we are looking for uh, here suppose uh, uh, this is 50 moving average will be here if price break this level like that right so we are looking for buy after breaking this level when we will retrace toward 50 moving average this is our buy and the our target will be somewhere here right don't enter suddenly when they are they break this level all right so when price will retrace toward this 50 moving average so we will start buy and target will be around 133 so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching